If there is one thing that truly doesn't stop, it's time. Time doesn't care if you're late to work. It doesn't care if you get enough sleep or if you just want to get out of that class that seems to last just too long. Time is not going anywhere. But at the same time, nothing lasts forever. Not even the world. There are many interpretations of how time began and how time will end through the different pantheons and religions of the world. Today, however, we will be taking a look at the Hindu time cycle. A couple of things before we begin. I will try my absolute best to pronounce everything correctly. And it's also a very confusing cycle if it's the first you're hearing about it. If you have any questions, I have a couple links down in the description that you can look at. Or you can also ask me questions via the comments. I'm always looking forward to answering questions. But yeah, let's jump into it. The cycle consists of four world eras called yugs. Those being Satya Yug, followed by the Threat Yug, then comes the Dvapar Yug, and finally it ends with the Kali Yug. The cycle as a whole lasts for 4,320,000 solar years, or 12,000 divine years. One divine year is equal to 360 solar years. Each world era lasts for one-fourth less than the era that preceded it. Every era has a dawn and dusk period equal to 10% of that era's time. With each era, the integrity and morals of humanity dwindle. The first yug, Satya Yug, is considered a golden age where truth and justice prevail. The concept of dharm, which translates to righteousness and merit, are at its peak. Humans are described as virtuous, vigorous, and honest. They stood at a stature of 21 cubits and lived an average of 100,000 solar years. There was no need for physical labor, such as mining or farming, since the earth yielded those crops and ore on its own. There was no fear, no disease, no violence. Everything was perfect in every sense of the word. This yug lasts for 1,728,000 solar years or 4,800 divine years. The next time era is the Dret Yug. Dret meaning a collection of three, referring to the three new avatars of the god Vishnu seen during this time period, those being Vaman, Parashuram, and Ram. Morality and overall virtue decrease in this time era. We also see the rising of emperors that begin conquests for world dominance. Labor becomes a thing, as well as slavery. Weather also becomes more extreme. Humans instead have a lifespan of 10,000 years and stand at a measure of 14 cubits. This yug lasts for 1,296,000 solar years, or 3,600 divine years. After the age of threat comes the Dvapar Yug. In this Yug, humans begin quarreling with their allies and tensions arise between families. Morality decreases still and disease is more rampant than ever. In this era, humans have a lifespan of 1,000 years and stand at 7 cubits. This Yug lasts for 864,000 solar years or 2,400 divine years. The last yug is the Kali Yug. This is the worst of the world eras. This age is when strife and darkness are at its peak. The concept of Dharm is all but lost. 
the destruction of knowledge ensues. People become corrupt. The environment is at its worst. People become dirty and unhealthy, and wealth is at an all-time low. This period lasts for 432,000 solar years, or 1,200 divine years. With this last yug, the lifespan of humans is just 100 years. However, towards the end, it is said to drop to only 20 years. They stand at a measure of three and a half cubits tall. There are 71 yug cycles in a manvantar, which last for 306,720,000 solar years, or 852,000 divine years. There are 14 manvantars in a kalp, and 15 junctures in between each manvantar. The time for a juncture it's the same amount of time as a Satya Yug. These 14 Manvantars and 15 junctures last for 4,320,000,000 solar years. This makes up 12 hours in the life of Brahm. After a Kalp, a Pralaya ensues. A Pralaya is a partial dissolution. During this, the lower realms of existence are destroyed, while the four higher realms that house the gods are preserved. These realms are called Loks. A pralaya represents the night, and, combined with the 12 hours of daytime for Brahm, make up a full 24-hour day in the life of Brahm. We should probably go into detail as to who Brahm is. He is the God of creation and the creator of the universe as we know it. He was said to be born from a lotus which emerged from the navel of the god Vishnu. However, some accounts say that he created himself from a golden egg known as Hiranyagar. Time for Brahm is grand to say the least. One human year is the equivalent of 10 microseconds to Brahm. One divine year equals 3.6 milliseconds for Brahm. A Mahakalp represents the full life of Brahm and lasts for 36,000 Kalp and Pralayas, which in total equal 311 trillion, 40 billion solar years. A Mahakalp is followed by a Maha Pralaya, or a full dissolution. During this, the ten lower loks are destroyed like usual, as well as the higher four realms that house all the gods. So what happens when Brahm's life comes to an end? Well, this quote can give us some insight. In the casual ocean, there are innumerable Brahms rising and disappearing like bubbles. Brahm and his creation are all part of the material universe and, therefore, they are in constant flux. Right now, we are in the 51st year and first day in the life of Brahm, in the Shveta Vara Kalpa, in the Vaivasvat Manvantar, which is the 7th out of 14th, in the 28th Yug cycle out of 71. In that 28th cycle, we are in the 4th World Age, the Kali Yug. It was said that this period began in the year 3102 BCE, the day the god Krishna, the eighth avatar of Vishnu, left the earth to return to his abode, called Baikunth. As of the day of this recording, it began 5122 years ago and still has 426,878 solar years left. This era will end in the year 428,899 common era. Kali Yug is named such because of the demon Kali that reigns over the world during this time. He is not to be confused with this goddess that you may have seen before. This goddess is also named Kali, and she is the goddess of destruction. 
It is prophesied that Lord Vishnu will take the form of his final avatar, Galki, and rid the earth of the demon Kali and anything Adharm. After this, the first world era begins again in an endless cycle. In the ancient epic, the Mahabharat, many characteristics of the Kali Yug are revealed. Here are just some of them. Rulers will be unfair and tax heavily. Humans will display animosity towards each other. People will have thoughts of murder without justification and see nothing wrong in doing so. Lust will be socially acceptable. Humans will eat unhealthy and dirty food. Humans will become addicted to drugs and intoxicating beverages. Guides and gurus will no longer be respected for their teachings. They will be insulted and ostracized. People will live with others to feed sexual desires. Religion will become a business. The powerful and the elite will dominate the poor and the weak. Many diseases will spread. These are just some of the events that are foretold to happen. Whether these events accurately reflect human behavior and what is actually going on in the world today is something that I will let you decide for yourself. If you made it to the end, then wow, many thanks. If you liked what you saw today, hopefully you'll be back when there's a new topic. Until then, be kind to one another and be the reason somebody smiles today. Safe travels. May we meet again when time allows it.